As you enter into the main sanctuary of the Eldred Street Synagogue, you look up and are greeted to the sight of dozens of curved structures called arches. Arches are typically used to support the weight of buildings, bridges, and can be found in architecture all over the world. Let's learn how to build an arch. Hi, my name is Rachel and I work at the museum at Eldridge Street and I am so excited to be showing you this really cool project today. And so as we were just learning a bit about arches, um, they're a piece of architecture that's both really, really beautiful um, and very decorative, uh, but also really important for structure. And there are many different types and styles of arches, and they can be found everywhere from buildings to bridges and more. Um, it's really a shape that's a part of our everyday life. Um, and arches are also made out of lots of different materials from stone to wood. Um, and now for this project, I'm going to show you how to make your very own arch at home using a couple of simple materials. Um, so for this project, what you're gonna need is first just a strip of cardboard like this, and it does not have to be as long or as big as this one. Um, if you have some like cardboard boxes lying around the house, you can cut a strip out of that if you like. And the other thing you're going to need are some takeout containers, um, like these little ones over here. Um, I got these containers off of Amazon and there are lots of other companies that sell these as well. Um, this is the eight ounce size, um, but you could also do bigger size as well. And then the third thing you're going to need is some scotch tape. And as you can see from the arch that I already started, um, I started by taping down the takeout containers. And what's really important, um, you wanna make sure that the containers are tapering down uh, with the, the tops facing outward. And by doing this, you're gonna give your structure that curved arch shape. So I'm just gonna keep adding like this. And when you're finished doing this, you're gonna be able to test actually how strong your arch is. Now, two things that help make keep arches strong is that they're usually, they're supported by some kind of foundation called an abutment. And so the way arches work is the force is pressing down, the load is pressing down in the arch. Um, but that load, that force is being spread outward, maybe through it's like a supporting wall or a buttress that's um, so moving the force through the wall um, so the arch isn't going to collapse. And the other thing that's really important for arches is the final piece. Um, so in architecture, and that, that piece that locks the arch in together, it's usually a piece of material like stone, it's called the keystone. And once you place that keystone in, that's gonna lock the arch into place so when the load comes down, it's gonna stay nice and strong. So we're gonna put our keystone piece in now. It looks pretty good. Oh, my top's coming off here. Looks like it can endure. Looks like it can support. You can try at home and you know test this. It's a little bit of physics. Put maybe some heavier items on top and see if your arch can support the, the load. Um, and if it doesn't collapse, then it means you've made a really good solid arch. The second thing um, that you're gonna do, this is where the arts, the aesthetics come in. Um, you're gonna get to decorate your arch. And there's lots of different ways you can do this. Um, if you've got markers or crayons or stickers or paint, you can use any of those things. And on our website, on the learning, our learning from home page, one of the things you can also download are these really cool pages um, that you can cut out them into small pieces. You can see here some, this is our stained glass windows from our building. And on the other side, if you've been to our building before, this is our Eastern window by Kiki Smith. Um, and these really beautiful materials were made by our friends at the Center for Architecture. So a big thank you to them for letting us use these. Um, so there's lots of different ways you can design your arch. So it's really up to you and your imagination. Um, and feel free when you build your arches, feel free to share them with us. We're on Facebook and on Instagram at Museum at Eldridge Street. And we look forward to having you come to the museum in person really soon. Um, and stand under our...